I will be attending the Rio Plus 20 conference on sustainable development in my capacity as High Commissioner for Human Rights. I have not attended any previous conferences on the environment or development because I was very concerned that there was no mention of human rights. In my view, you cannot discuss development or sustainable development without adopting a human rights-based approach. That means that people must be at the center of all policies for development. And I will be saying this because I have a speaking slot uh, on the 19th of September, and this is a message I will be carrying to the conference. But more importantly is the outcome document that will come out of Rio Plus 20. Here, at a working level, we are pushing very hard for the inclusion of human rights language. Developed countries have a special responsibility to um, care about what's happening in the developing world and in the whole world, and I sincerely hope that they will attend. I think it's very important to have a focus on the green economy. Wherever I've traveled, in many parts of the world, I find the there's degradation of the environment, water has dried up, dams have dried up, and it's the poor and the most vulnerable who are suffering. And there I include women and children and indigenous communities. Migration is very important. It's a global challenge because countries are now uh, receiving, sending and transfer. Uh, transferring countries. Irregular migrants are particularly vulnerable because countries, particularly here in Europe, do not recognize them as human beings. They do not grant them the kind of rights that they grant to their citizens. And yet we must appreciate that migration has been in the world for centuries. It's not a new phenomenon. They, are, they must not be seen as a threat to citizens here in Europe. They provide a valuable service, so they must be valued. I find that migrants are open to all kinds of risks, such as trafficking and uh, unscrupulous agents who smuggle them and commit huge acts of human rights violations against these vulnerable individuals who are leaving their country either to seek work or because they are leaving conflict areas where their lives are threatened. I believe that one of the subjects that the Rio conference should address, and particularly because it's in Latin America, is the uh, illegal sale of arms, that arms and weapons are not manufactured in, in developing worlds, they are exported by highly developed countries. They are misused and abused by uh, drug lords and gun runners. I found during my visit to Mexico, for instance, that um, I knew the statistics at that time. So many of the weapons that were confiscated by the government originated from the United States. And so I appeal to developing countries who are allowing these arms sales to come into poor countries without any control, to look at the long-term harmful impact on the lives of people, of ordinary people in these countries. Yeah. The last question would be about the future generations. This is the human right of future generations our responsibility today? Well, it is our responsibility for the sake of the future generation to ensure that they have a world to live in, a clean world, uh, that they have jobs for them. Right now, we all, uh, young people are really afraid. They're getting educated, but what's the scope for their employment, their jobs? Uh, and we should not leave them an earth that is not producing food, for instance. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you.